Nowadays, I, as a gynecologist and infertility specialist, I see a lot of patient coming with the problem of endometriosis. Now, what is endometriosis? That is a condition, it's a very painful condition. Basically, patient present to us uh, for their period pain and uh, pain during intercourse, pain otherwise in the chronic pelvic pain, indifferent, it is a very painful condition basically. Sometimes I see patients without pain as well, they present with a mass and it is a endometriotic cyst and they do not have pain. This is a rare group, but it is also possible. So how do you know you have endometriosis or not? First of all, I will request all that who suffers from pain during menstruation, do not think that, okay, it is quite normal to have pain. It might be normal menstrual pain, but no harm taking our opinion from a gynecologist and do a basic ultrasound scan of your pelvis to check if you are developing endometriosis or not. So uh, why it is so important? Because it has got a long, uh, long term effect. So if we know you are developing endometriosis, you need a long term management plan to avoid your uh, like operation and to avoid, uh, you know, destruction of your uh, f future life in case of, you know, uh, pregnancy and your sexual life, everything will be hampered if we do not manage them early. So it is very important that we should catch them early, we should diagnose the problem early and treat them early and give them a long-term management plan. What happens is, uh, this is the model of the uterus. You see the ovaries are there and this is the endometrium from where you bleed every month. So this tissue is called endometrium. So it's it's uh, the way it acts is every month it develops inside your uterus and every month it shreds off again it develops. But this, if the same tissue exists outside uterus, then that will do the same thing inside your, uh, basically inside your abdomen. Common site of deposition of this tissue is ovary and the tubes. So if it deposited in the ovary, so every month you bleed in that ovary and develop the cyst and it is painful and blood is a gluey substance that uh, sticks different organs, especially the organ in front, which is bladder and the organ behind bowel. These are all stick together and it is a painful condition. Here in this model, they're showing the, this is called adhesion bands. So as the blood is a gluey thing, it will attached all the thing, addition band formation between the tube and uterus, distortion of the tube, function of the tube is impaired. And after all, it is nowadays different theories are coming. Why it is so common? It is kind of an autoimmune theory is there. Sometimes it is seen that uh, part of an autoimmune disease. So basically your body is uh, making antibody against this endometrium, your own endometrium. That is a, a, a theory. Another theory is uh, we have got some gene. Now these genes uh, are regulated by you know another another factors like uh, some genes are regulated by some micro RNAs. All our bodies, every mechanism is by protein. So all the uh, receptors, hormone, endocrine things, all are made of basically protein. And who makes the protein? Our cell makes this protein by the direction of some genes. So it is seen in endometriosis, there is some epigenetic defect that is very uh, small RNA or genetic material is aberrant in them. And what they are doing is they are uh, making one receptor more active, another receptor less active. So if the receptor of estrogen hormone is more active, so it is a hyperestrogenic state and it is making our another hormone progesterone receptor less active or resistant. So the progesterone cannot act properly as a result between this imbalance of the hormone endometriosis is developing. This is one of the theory. And sometimes we see that some neuroendocrine disruptors, some chemicals we are are eating or we are using in our day-to-day -day life like cosmetics or different things like you know plastic where where is you, you tell me we are using plastics from uh, morning to night everything everywhere there is plastic so 
they are sometimes chemical neuroendocrine disruptor which causes these changes in our gene and causes these changes in the receptor and making us more prone for developing uh, endometriosis. Now endometriosis when it develops then what happens is you know it destroys the ovarian tissue. So your egg number will be less, you are, it is a painful condition so definitely your date quality of life will be hampered. So if there is any pain in during menstruation, please go to your gynecologist, just have an ultrasound to check in a good place where they can at least have an idea how to do ultrasound in uh, them. Because sometimes early um, uh, signs of endometriosis is missed in the ultrasound if it is not done properly. So ultrasound can or MRI if needed to check that if you are developing endometriosis or not. If it, you are developing, then according to the need of your uh, life, we can give you medication. Sometimes we need to suppress this endometriosis. So if you want pregnancy, then that is a different um, treatment we are going to give. If you do not want pregnancy, then we are going to give you different medication. But your normal menstruation has to stop. We have to give something so that we can suppress this, so that we can suppress this endometriosis. And if you do not do it, your normal menstruation every month will make more big cysts and causing you, uh, you to have an operation. And even after operation, there is chance of recurrence. So there is, a, until menopause, you do not have a total remedy for this disease. So it is very important that we diagnose it early, manage it properly so that you have a quality of life.